One of the sectors that where we are really witnessing the strong impact of evolving digital technology uh, is uh, the media, in particular with respect to social media. Um, how do you think that the media sector will evolve in the future in order to respond to the changes, uh, such as the blurring of the lines between who produces the media and the audience for the media? My view is we've only just started. The mm -hmm. newspaper industry, the film industry, the recording industry for music and other things is fighting one for survival, it's going to die uh, in the sense that it's totally going to mutate to something different. We'll, we'll see more and more material produced and really uh, the next layer is how do you find the really good stuff? The music industry has had a heck of a shock. Uh, the movie industry uh, can see that, uh, it's resisting change, but gradually it is changing. I fear that the print media, the, the newspapers, uh, are going to just die. And the question is, what replaces them? And the reality is, we're, out, we're all now reporters. Uh, when you and I are out and about, we have uh, the ability to report a crime, a yeah. natural disaster, or anything else. We're on the spot. We've got our device. We can make a movie. We can do a news report. And you see that actually happening now in the conventional media and it's only just the start mm -hmm. so i think we have to look forward and say where is this going i find i am watching more and more material online and less and less off-air material i'm not watching very much real time it's when i want to watch it and i've got the ultimate choice of material from anywhere on the planet so my big problem is actually finding the stuff. Mm -hmm. How do I find the really good and interesting things? Yeah. That is the killer. At the moment, social media fills that hole. And I think that that's one of the futures that we're going to see. We're going to see much more involvement, much more interaction, and people influencing the programmed material or the made material and it's going to change in nature very, very rapidly. And it's going to encompass education and training, um, a breakdown in education as we know it, and complete change in what we consider to be a university mm -hmm. and a qualification. My prediction for you is very, very shortly, well before 2050, we are going to value the people who can solve problems far greater than those who have mere academic attainment, period. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And uh, this is perhaps linked to things that you've mentioned in previous answers, but uh, how can technological advances matched with uh, economic power shifts and fluctuations in labor costs create new dynamics in the production and the consumption of goods? And uh, do you think that a new geolocalization of uh, production and consumption can be envisaged in the future? I think we start from this point. Mm. We've got to stop manufacturing more and more for the few and provide sufficient for the many. Mm -hmm. I've got to find a way of sustainably helping the population of this planet to live, work and prosper. We're not going to do that on the basis of the models that came out of the Industrial Revolution. We have to think and do differently. So first of all, global markets are not going to go away. Distributed capability is something that's only just being grasped. And we have to look at it in terms of a world where we manufacture and produce more and more locally and less and less on a global basis. Mm -hmm. So things like printing, 3D printing, and programming materials to do what we want uh, are going to change the nature of industry. I call it Industry 2.0. Um, it's the only way in which we can move forward. We have sufficient energy, we have sufficient materials, but what we have to do is use them in a less destructive way. Mm -hmm. 
Um, continuing to do what we've always done, but more and more efficiently, only puts off the day of the cataclysm. If we can find a way, and I think we can, of mastering materials and getting them to do our bidding, we can change the nature of everything. Mm -hmm. So I think you're going to see this big change. Instead of huge integration plants where automobiles are made en masse, where laptops, PCs, food and everything else is made on a massive scale, I think it's going to become distributed. And I think that the new industries will be about the creativity, about the management, about the use, the recycling and the inventiveness. That's where it's going to go. Thank <music> you.